All right, thanks, guys. We are once again coming off a perfect 4-0 day yesterday on my Patreon website. We had four premium picks going on that site. We won all of them. Clean sweep of the board. That's going to put us at 8-2 and two in our last 10 extra daily picks on that site. We're also 6-1 and one with a push in our last eight board member package plays on that site. We are red hot right now. Link for that site is in the description section below. We do daily premium sports picks on that site beginning at just $1.99 per month. Once again, that is patreon.com slash Brock Page. All right, guys, we got ourselves a very nice slate of college basketball action here. So let's go ahead and get into it. And I'm actually going to start off with a game that is not on our big screen, uh, but it should be a good one. I'm talking about Western Kentucky taking on Florida Atlantic, 7 o'clock Eastern tip-off in that game. Western Kentucky, they are the 2.5-point favorite total at 142 and a hook. We saw a one-point move toward Western Kentucky and movement downward on the total. They open as the two-point favorite, up to minus 2.5. Total open 143, down to 142 and a hook. 74% are leaning Western Kentucky. And at the moment, Florida Atlantic, they are plus $1.30 on the money line. Now, FAU, they've lost their last three straight. They also went just one and four straight up in their last five. And out of those five games, they failed to cover the uh, point spread in four out of those five as well. Now, Western Kentucky on the other side, seven and one straight up in their last eight. They also went four and one against the spread in their last five, Western Kentucky is averaging 77 points per contest. They also rank in the top 35 in the country in offensive field goal percentage, and they're in the top 10 in the nation in defending the three ball on the road. Now, Tavion Hollingsworth, 15 points a game, four rebounds for Western Kentucky. Carson Williams, 14 points a game, six rebounds. And Jared Savage, 11 points a game, six rebounds for this Western Kentucky squad. Now, three out of their last four games did get over the number. Meanwhile, Florida Atlantic, 5-1 of the over in their last six. I'm going to fade the Owls in this matchup here. Give me Western Kentucky, minus 2.5, and, and the over 142.5 in that game. All right, next matchup, it is on our board. I'm talking about Minnesota taking on Illinois, 7.30 Eastern tip-off. The Fighting Illini, they are minus five total at 134 and a hook. We saw a half a point fade of Illinois and movement downward on the total. Illinois open five and a half down to minus five. Total open 135 and a half down to 134 and a hook. 67% are leaning Illinois, 52% on the over. Right now the Golden Gophers are plus $1.80 on the money line. Now Minnesota's dropped two out of their last three games. They also went just two and seven straight up away from home this year. They're averaging just 64 points per contest as the official road team. They're also shooting just 39% from the field when traveling. Illinois on the other side. Red hot right now. Right in the middle of a six-game winning streak. They're also 11-1 straight up on their home court. They're averaging 81 points per contest in the friendly confines. They're also shooting 49% from the field on their home court as well. Io Dosumu. 16 points a game, four rebounds, four assists. Kofi Coburn, 15 points a game, nine rebounds, two blocks. And Andres Feliz, 11 points a game, five rebounds for the Fighting Illini. Illinois ranks in the top 20 in the nation in home offensive rebounding. They're also in the top 15 in home defensive rebounding. Now, total wise, Illinois is 60% to the under in their last 10, 7 to 4 to the under on their home court. Three out of Minnesota's last three games stayed under the number as well. They are also 7-2 and two to the under away from home. I'm going to lean Illinois minus 5 and the under 134.5 in that contest. Next game, Iowa taking on Maryland, 8.30 Eastern tip-off. The Terrapins are the 5.5 point favorite total at 145. We saw a half a point move toward Maryland and movement upward on the total. The Terrapins open minus five, up to five and a half. Total open 144, up to 145. 52% are leaning Maryland, 72% shaded toward the under. And right now the Hawkeyes are plus 210 on the money line. Iowa, right in the middle of a five-game winning streak. They also covered 80% of their games in their last 10. A couple more things to add about the Hawkeyes. They're covering 67% of their games away from home. They rank in the top 20 in road scoring, and they're averaging 77 points per contest away from home. 
Luca Garza having a great year. He's averaging 23 points a game, 11 rebounds, and two blocks. Joe Wieskamp, 15 points a game, six rebounds. Wieskamp is shooting 87% from the stripe. And C.J. Frederick, 11 points a game. He is shooting 48% from downtown. This guy is deadly from beyond the arc. Now, Maryland on the other side, they're shooting just 41% from the field. They're also shooting just 30% from downtown on their home court. Now, six out of Maryland's last nine games did stay under the total. They're also 8-3 and three to the under on their home court. Now, Iowa on the other side, they are 70% to the under in their last 10. I'm going to lean Hawkeyes plus six after buying the hook and the under 145 in that contest. And before we go ahead and move on, just want to take another quick time out and welcome you to the show. Got some lines and personal leans out for Thursday's college basketball action. Happy Thursday to you. The weekend is almost here. Now, before we dive into some more games here, I just want to quickly remind you once again to check me out on my red hot website, at patreon.com slash Brock Page, where we do daily premium sports picks on that site, beginning at just $1.99 per month. Guys, we had four premium picks yesterday. We won all four of them. We swept the board. A perfect 4-0 yesterday in our premium picks on that website. That's going to put us at 8-2 and two in our last 10 extra daily picks on that site. The extra daily pick is a package that I offer on Patreon, which is just $2.99 through the end of the month. We're also currently 6-1 and one with a push in our last eight board member package plays on that site as well. You may be wondering, why would I buy a package when I can get the picks for free here on YouTube? And you're exactly right. I do all the picks for free here on YouTube side in total. Now, the problem with that is if you were to bet every single game on the board side in total, you are guaranteed to lose your money in the long run. As a matter of fact, you're probably going to end up losing your money in the short run as well. The more games you play like that, if you bet every single game on the board side in total, the math becomes egregiously against you and the books will plow you like a field of sweet Amish corn. They will absolutely plow you. There's no way you can win betting every single game on the board consistently. So what I do on Patreon is I make life a lot easier for you. I break it down and focus in on three to four premium selections per day. They're games that I personally have action on. They're high percentage uh, games, high percentage picks. They're games that I bet right on my phone, right on my app. And I'll tell you this much, my current Patreon record is a whole lot better than it is here on YouTube, handicapping every single game on the board, you know, throwing darts, picking games with my eyes closed. And you can check out my current record for free right now. It's right on the homepage, patreon.com slash Brock page. Once again, link for that site is in the description section below. All right, let's go ahead and dive into some more free lines and personal leans right here on YouTube. All starts Eastern Standard Time. And on deck, we've got Pepperdine taking on BYU 830 Eastern tip off in Provo. Uh, BYU's minus 13 total at 156. We saw a half a point fade of BYU and movement downward on the total. The Cougars open 13 and a half, down to minus 13. Total open 157, down to 156. 53% are leaning BYU, 56% shaded toward the over. Right now, Pepperdine is plus $8 on the money line. They've also covered just 40% of their games in their last 10. They're allowing 83 points per contest when traveling. Meanwhile, the Cougars on the other side, winners of 7 out of their last 10. BYU is also 9-1 straight up on their home court. They're covering 67% of their games at home as well. <coughs> BYU ranks in the top 30 in scoring, top 5 in the nation in offensive field goal percentage. One more thing to add about BYU, they rank in the top 3 in shooting the 3 ball. Top 3 in 3-point three percentage. They're averaging 80 points per contest at home. They're also shooting 50% from the field at home and 41% from downtown in the friendly confines. Now, five out of BYU's last six did get over the number. Pepperdine, 5-0 and to the over in their last five themselves. Could see a lot of points, especially out of BYU. I'm going to lean Cougars minus 13 in the over 156 in that game. All right, next matchup, it is going to be Arizona taking on Washington, and that'll be a 9 o'clock Eastern tip-off in that game. Arizona open 3.5, down to minus 3. Total open 134, up to 134 and a hook. 59% are leaning Arizona, 65% shaded toward the under. 
Right now, Washington is plus a buck 40 on the money line. Now, the Huskies rank in the top 45 in points allowed. They're also in the top 15 in the country in defensive field goal percentage. They're giving up just 62 points per contest on their home court. Meanwhile, their opponents are shooting just 36% from the field in that same category. This Washington team is 9-3 and three straight up in their dozen home games this year. Arizona on the other side. Losers of five out of their last eight. They've also gone winless as the official road team this year. 0-4 straight up on the road. Uh, they also failed to cover the point spread in seven out of their last eight games away from home. So that includes road games and neutral site games. Now Arizona is averaging just 65 points per contest on the road. They're also 2-0 to the under in their last couple of games. Washington 80% to the under in their last 10. The Huskies are also 9-3 to the under on their home court. I'm going to lean toward the home dog in this one. Give me Washington plus 3 and the under 134.5 in that contest.